Hey guys, what's going on? Dr. Chad Coons here, sports physical therapist. You may have seen some of my other videos on plantar fasciitis. In this one, I want to show you two simple exercises, home exercises that you can do. Super simple, and you don't really need a whole lot of shebangs. And you're not going to expect a frozen water bottle. I'm not going to have you pick up marbles with your feet. I'm going to show you two that I found actually incredibly helpful that you may not have tried, which is good for you, because I know you're, like, you're probably hoping for something new that you can do that'll actually help. So again, first off, I should just clarify, make sure that you've got a correct diagnosis that it's actually plantar fasciitis. I can't tell you how many people that come in and they say they have plantar fasciitis when they don't. So that's just a disclaimer, so make sure you've been kind of appropriately diagnosed that you're actually dealing with plantar fasciitis in order to make sure that these two help. Okay, so in some other videos I've taught you um, how that the plantar fascia has to be strong and mobile. All right, so we're gonna kind of show you a, a great technique to stretch it out in a way that you may not have thought of before. So um, my shoes are already off. I would actually encourage you to do this with your socks off uh, as well. Um, what I'm gonna do is get into this half kneeling position. And I just should also preface, some of you will be kind of acute red hot. You may not be able to go into the amount of range of motion. So just kind of keep that in mind. You should feel a nice gentle little stretch with this. Maybe a little light painful pulling but certainly no sharp pains. If you have sharp pains, this isn't for you right now. Let's say I'm dealing with left plantar fasciitis. I'm gonna get my arm out of the way, but normally I would probably plant it here, but just sort of for you to see, I'm going to slowly allow the heel to come off the ground. Now I didn't rotate, right? I'm not rotating from my hips. I'm keeping everything squared up. And I'm gonna go ahead and allow the feet and my toes, the toes to stay on the ground. And my goal is to actually bring my knee towards the ground. So that's about as far as I can go. And I feel a whirl of a stretch in two places. I feel it um, in my soleus and the tricep surrey and the attachment point there. And I actually feel it in the plantar fascia area as well. So I can tell that I probably would benefit from that stretch. If you notice that we're going into a lot of dorsiflexion, which is one way of stretching the soleus, the knees bent, so I'm not stretching the gastroc there. And by keeping my toes flush against the ground, and it, you may not be able to see this, I'll, I'll just go to this view. I'm actually using my left elbow to kind of keep my knee from flirting out to the side, because some of you are gonna wanna just roll out. So I'm gonna actually keep my knee right over my toes. A lot of my weight is on this fascia, so it is challenging but it is strengthening it while we stretch it. So it's almost kind of like an eccentric stretch if you want to think of it like that. I would hold it there for five seconds and I'm gonna roll onto that again. I can actually go a little bit further this time, if you can see that, and I would hold that for five seconds. 10 five second holds should actually be a really nice start. After you do that, I'm gonna show you actually a self tissue Mobilization, mobilization technique. Remember, true fasciitis isn't inflammatory, it's more of a fasciosis. It needs to kind of uh, be loosened up and we need to strengthen the tissue. So what I'm gonna do is actually just sit here. I'm gonna pull my big toe and toes up towards me. Some of you might already even feel a little bit of a stretch when you're doing that. If it's too much, just back off on the amount that I'm pulling my toe up. So I might even just be there. It depends on your irritability. If you're somewhat subacute to chronic or you've been dealing with it for a long time, I think you'll be able to take it up all the way. If you're, if you're acute, you might just pull it up a little bit and that's fine. And then I want you to kind of take a look at my finger orientation here. So it's gonna be finger over finger, middle finger over my index, and that's the alignment that I'm looking for. I'm gonna put myself as much of a stretch that you feel comfortable with. I'm gonna start by the heel and work my way up. And I'm gonna kind of first just kind of figure out where I'm most tender. All right, so for me right now, I feel it right there. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna actually apply force into it and move it up and down. And yes, it's somewhat masochistic. You should almost feel a little discomfort, a little pain, but guess what? Hurt does not equal harm here. Let me say it again. Hurt does not equal harm. Like right there is tender for me. What does that mean? That means I need to stimulate, stimulate some strength in that area you're actually creating a stronger cellular matrix. You're creating stronger cells called fibroblasts that actually build strength in that area. And guess what? You're gonna also desensitize that and bring some blood flow. In fact, if I do this right now, that spot that was really sharp 
actually already kind of calmed down a little bit. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna actually go into a little bit deeper, a little bit harder, and even a little bit quicker. And I would do that for up to about eight minutes, even on one spot. If you have the whole thing flared up, you might just start at one spot and kind of work your way up into that. And you might even be able to pull your toe more and more, all right, putting a bigger stretch on it, and even bring the whole ankle up as you progress with this. So notice that there are varying levels of degrees that you could really crank this um, depending on what stage you're at. So again, guys, two simple exercises and movements and things that you could do at home if you're suffering from plantar fasciitis, save the frozen water bell that's not working, save the socks that you're wearing at night or the splints, um, save the marbles, <laughs> you're not even doing that exercise, save the marbles, uh, <laughs> because that exercise, in my experience, uh, this is a harsh term, is borderline useless in, in my sense. So try those two things out, leave a comment below, let me know if that helps. Thanks guys.